Good morning from what could be one of paradise on earth. Done that an uh, island in the 4,000 islands of Laos. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful here. I've been here for two days now. Um, I haven't really explored too much yet. I just chilled out, took a swim in the, the Mekong a bit further in that direction. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna explore it a bit more. Maybe rent a bike and go around. I think we can go to another island, check out some remnants of French colonial times. Don't think that will be too exciting, but, but um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a nice day. So, just waiting for Denise to come back from brushing her teeth. And uh, we will start our day on Dundet. Are you ready? Yes. To explore. Explore what? The island. Oh, we're on an island. We are on an island. <laughs> I knew that. So, our first step will be to have Look some food. That. Oh, wow. Transporting the trolley or something. Ah, fresh in that small boat there. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> yeah, our first step will be to get some food, I was gonna say. But actually, we're gonna extend, try to extend our stay here a little yeah. bit. So, I guess we're gonna do that first. If he's here, yeah. If he's here, yeah. I'll see. He seems to be here. Okay. Well, I'll see you once we've done that. So, we have extended our stay here on this beautiful little island. And uh, we're allowed to stay two more nights. <clears throat> yes, we are. With the view on the river. With a view on the river. We do have kind of, we have a, an amazing place. Yeah. Actually, we directly on the river, we have a first row sunset spot. You just showed it, didn't you? I did show it, yeah. <laughs> I did show it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it's not as clear. It's not clear until you see the actual sunset. I think yeah, to how beautiful true. it is. is true. But yeah, as you can see. Yeah, there's everywhere you can find like those places. Kind of. Yeah. On the river or like terraces. Yeah. And, and this is the Mekong River, by the way. This is yeah. like the biggest one in this part of Asia. Yeah, it's called the 4,000 Islands here, huh? Yeah, because there's so many small islands in the river. Yeah, it's so cool. It really is. <laughs> it's, and it's, yeah, small place. It's, it's touristy, like all commercial activity on this island is based on tourism, but at the same time, it's not overdeveloped in any way. No. It's... Can we go here? Wait. No. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, but yeah, at the same time, it's not overdeveloped. It's a little backpacker paradise. Uh, I think, especially COVID, yeah. helped it to slow down again. Yeah, I read that before COVID, it was turning into a party place, but it's not really anymore. No. And it's so cheap. It is. Busy. It is very busy this morning. <coughs> but yeah, it is very cheap. Uh, how much are we paying per night for our bungalow? $7.50. $7 $7 yeah, per night uh, in a bungalow with that to you. I mean, we only have one electric plug and the Wi Fi barely works. Well, that's not. Well, I don't know. I'm using the Indian place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we use it from a restaurant nearby, which works a lot better. <laughs> but still, I mean, facilities are really simple. Yeah. If you're not used to having a separate bathroom that looks like Asian standard, then you'll be in for a shock. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but for us, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, food is good. There are a lot of it. Like there is Laotian food and there's a lot of Indian food. Which is great because we have lotion for lunch and Indian for dinner. It's it's amazing. Is this this the place? Yeah, why not? Let's see what they have here. You know what? Doesn't matter too much for you. It's mostly for me, so 
<laughs> yeah, you can see the prices here. For noodle soup, we're talking that's one less than one dollar. Yeah. So Denise food has arrived. Uh, she got a uh, noodle soup with veggies here, and uh, it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. How does it taste? It's really tasty. Does it taste delicious? It has a quite strong, um, you know, the, those dried, dried garlic um, mm. things. Tasty. Mm -hmm. Quite nice. I'm gonna add a bit of chili. Of course. Chili is always very good. I think my food is arriving now. Mm. So, I went also for a noodle soup here, although I went with chicken, because I was craving chicken today. Just today I was having a full vegetarian day, because I wasn't craving chicken or any other meats. Today, I am again. Now you're so, so proud of yourself for one evening of vegetarian food. One huh? full day of vegetarian food. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't done that since we came to Southeast Asia. That I think. is true. That is absolutely true. Oh, she's so greedy here. She, she doesn't. I'll help see what with, you want. Doesn't help me at all with the with the lime here. <laughs> I don't really see what I'm supposed to do here. Hey, you're splashing lime over. Yeah, I'm splashing lime everywhere. Wow, what are you doing? Squeezing lime. Is that how you do it? Yeah. yeah. I want to get all the meat as well. That's a big mess. Uh, behind you there is papers. Perfect. <laughs> I will also trust Denise's judgment here. Um, with uh, the shelling. I assume she's right. I'm pretty sure I am. Um, yeah, so this bowl of noodles will cost me one dollar. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know what to say more about that. Pretty good price. That is a very good price. We're back to Thailand prices. We're back to Thailand prices, yeah. Even a bit cheaper, I would say. Yeah, true, even a bit <laughs> cheaper. And then we're in a, I don't know, more touristy, Yeah. like island life. Yeah. Quite crazy. That is very tasty. <laughs> mm. Mm. Happy. Very happy. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna enjoy a little breakfast here. And then finally it's time to explore the island. <laughs> I promise this time. Next stop, buying a bicycle. No, renting a bicycle. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, you're not looking for a bike to buy, huh? Exactly. <laughs> it's not something I... And my foot sometimes kind of hits the wheel when I'm turning fast, but I'm just going to have to not turn too fast. Yeah. Simple as that. It's tricky for you because you're a fast turner. That is true. <laughs> I think this this one will be fine. Don't really like the feeling of the handles, but no, oh, they're sticky. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, do you have any idea what we have to do? Uh, yeah, I think we just go in that direction actually. Yeah. What? To the port. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. You can put your backpack in the front. That is true. That is true. Okay, let's let's go biking. That's what you do when you go backwards. That's good that you make it clear that you're backing out, yeah. Right? Okay. Let's yeah. go. Okay, let's explore Tondet by bicycle. Oh, I didn't put sunscreen on. Me neither. Oh, oh well. Oh. We'll do that later. I won't break, huh? Yeah. 
Oh, it's a nice little bike path back yeah. here, though. Well, don't be fooled. Nah, I guess this is <laughs> gonna turn into a dirt road. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. Oops. Got someone oh. behind us. Yeah. What else? Testing her brakes. Oh. <laughs> that was very loud. Oh, Those brakes didn't sound good. More Indian and Sri Lankan food. Yeah, so it's so much Indian food on this island. I have no idea why. If anyone knows, let me know. Uh, but yeah, it's delicious though. Well, it's we've only one place. that is true, but it is delicious there. Yeah. Then I get to yes, make some space for the kids on the bike. Yeah, well, there's a lot of Indian places here, so if you're into Indian food, it's amazing. It's also a nice break. I mean. I do like the, uh, I love the Laotian cuisine. It's a bit more like Thai, Thai food again. Uh, more in that direction rather than Cambodian. But it's nice with a little break with some, yeah, Indian food. It really is, I like Indian food. Yeah, me too. Gotta go to India soon. You really have to. Yep. Stick around if you want to know if we will make it there. Yeah. But yeah. For now, let's just enjoy the beautiful scenery and chill atmosphere on this island. So, here is the old French port. I think they tried to build a port here. Because uh, the French really wanted to make the Mekong, you know, possible to go all the way. Uh, they failed, by the way. So there are, that's why there are no cruisers going all the way along the Mekong River. Uh, but yeah, here they tried to build a port or something. Uh, this is all that remains, these concrete blocks. But you know, uh, they tried at least. It's a good spot to put on sunscreen. It's a good spot to put on sunscreen. I think the buses, whatever these buses are, also go from here, kinda. Ah, I wonder. Oh well. There's yeah. Seen any of those? No. Well, now you've seen the French port at least. Uh, hope you find it exciting. <laughs> Hello, goat. <laughs> oh, see the bridge up ahead. I'm really happy this is a proper road. Yeah, <laughs> makes it a lot easier that this is a proper road. But yeah, over there you can see it. The bridge, the old historical. French bridge. There we go. A bridge to Don Kong. Exciting. Just gotta get up this hill. Oh, oh. oh that's heavy. Okay. Let's cross the bridge. Are you ready to visit another island? Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, careful now with the tuk tuk. It's tricky. It's tricky to balance on this bike. It's a bit too small and not wide enough. I gotta keep a certain speed to have any chance. But man, yeah. Look at this, we're going across the Mekong River. Woohoo! Very exciting, very exciting. Okay. 
Welcome to Con Island. Now we just keep going and see where where we will end up. I just realized we lost Denise, but there she is. I didn't even notice. It did look very pretty. You were so fast. Sorry. It's okay. I, I figured you will notice eventually. Did you get a good picture? Yes. Cool. <laughs> okay. Let's... Let's look where we have to go. Let's look where we have to go, actually, now that we're stopped anyway. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you soon when we know where we have to go. We found the direction we have to go. And here we got a French locomotive. What is a French locomotive doing on uh, this small island in Laos? One can wonder. And I don't really know either, but it is here. I guess the signs will soon tell us the story about the French locomotive. The ri railways rise and fall. By early in 1894, Lieutenant Simon and hundreds of Vietnamese workers completed and improved Don Con rail line from Hang Con to Ban Con and upgraded the boat ramps. Uh, you know what, I'm going to read this myself and uh, then I'm going to summarize it for you. Okay, so to summarize. The French wanted to be able to transport stuff along the Mekong. They wanted to get the riches from China, where the Mekong starts, uh, all the way down to, to the coast and to Phnom Penh. Uh, however, they quickly figured out that the Mekong is simply not possible to, uh, to navigate in these parts because of the rapids and the waterfalls and stuff. It's not worth the effort, basically. Uh, so they built some railways to transport uh, in the worst parts. Oh. Yeah. Uh, however, it didn't become a, the big economic success they had hoped for. And then the Japanese occupied this area in World War II, used the train for military purposes, whatever that means, and uh, then, yeah, no one cared anymore. And yeah, this is the leftover, the leftover locomotive and some train tracks. Okay. That's it. Now we learned everything there is to know about uh, the history of railways on, on the 4,000 islands. I didn't even know there was one. Yeah, me neither until now. <laughs> Exciting. Now. Okay, let's go to waterfall. It's getting really hot. I gotta drink some water as well. So, yes, I will move over to the shade, drink some water, and then we will continue our journey. So we're arriving at a temple here. Our first temple in Laos. Uh, yeah. Looks different a little bit. Looks a bit different than Thailand and so. I don't know, you can't enter though. Well, we do have towels. Ah, true. It is wrong. Yeah. Okay, let's move our bike to the side here. I'm just gonna lean it like that. Yeah, that's what I did. Perfect. Stay where you are. And uh, I should stay. No, the bikes. Oh. So let's have a look at the temples here. Pretty cool. There the water. Yeah. So I heard someone say that. So for those of you that know, Laos is a communist country, and. And uh, I heard somewhere that they had tried to eradicate Buddhism sometime, a long time ago. Uh, it didn't work. People like Buddhism. So, <laughs> yeah, Buddhism is still here. I don't know the truth of that. I haven't gotten to that part. I'm reading a book about Laotian history and I haven't gotten to that part yet. What happens after the revolution. So, we'll see if it's true or not. Uh, yeah, 
Hey, it looks like Buddhist temple. Don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> what do you say? Temple. Looks like a Buddhist temple. Yeah. Cool. It has dragons. It has the dragons. Oh. Ah, it's it's cute. Oh, it does look nice. Nice paintings on the walls as well. Family having lunch. Yeah. Cozy. Man, it's getting hot right now. I thought we were so good doing this early, but it's the sun is getting quite strong. You're complaining right now. No, I'm just telling the camera, describing. describing our situation to the camera here. That's what I always do. No, you're when just. I do it that it's complaining. And the difference is that you're not doing it for the camera, you're doing it to me. Yeah, exactly. I'm explaining it to you. <laughs> so we're getting out of the city. We're on the countryside of Ku. No, what's the name? Don. Don Con. Don Con. Uh, Don Con. Uh. Don Con. Don Con. Okay. okay. Oh, Waterfall to the right and beach to the front and historical port but we're going waterfalling right now first waterfall first waterfall is only 400 meters ah what a crazy day of adventures huh <laughs> so i don't know if we ever said how much our bikes are one dollar per person for the whole day for the whole day for a bike which is absolutely okay it's, yeah. it's not that, that big distance that you have to cover. No. And it's flat and so far the road has been really good actually. Yeah. So. Yeah. I guess we're arriving here, huh? Let's see how much it is. Can't imagine it's too extensive. Together, like what? Let's put them together so we can them again. That's a good idea. Well, here we are. Um, let's just check out the waterfalls here. So, where is the waterfall? Is this the waterfall? Yeah, this one. This is the waterfall here. Wow. Crazy stuff. Uh, over there. There we go. Coffee house, swimming here. So, lady. So cute. The view restaurant. Coffee house, swimming area. Toilets. Okay. Easy peasy. Um, Here, to the right it shows. Let's go to the right and have a look. I can hear something. I can hear water. I can hear water. Can you hear water on the camera? I don't think you can actually. Maybe. Aren't too much other noises. Can you? Tell me down in the comments. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. You're properly sweating. I'm really sweating. It's hot. Yeah. And I'm wearing sunscreen, which I think just makes... Oh, uh, it's true. ...makes Ooh, us completely... I see... water. I don't really see waterfall. I think that's oh. kind of what it is, actually. Oh. Okay, yeah. More like rapids. Yeah. Rather than waterfall, but... 
not like a high impressive waterfall it's more like a yeah uh, long rapids i think yeah. okay so we're approaching the waterfalls So this is the reason why you can't navigate the Mekong River all the way because yeah oh, it does look like a bit of waterfalls here actually there's deeper than I thought but yeah this is the reason why they just couldn't figure out how to uh, navigate it because it's impossible you can't drive up this simply no way Yeah, so I guess this is why the French built their uh, trains. What do you say? What? Or what do you say? It's nice. I kind of wish we were like rafters, you know? Yeah, I so think fun. this one would be very dangerous to do even for a professional one though. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, this explains why the French had to build their train. Oh, true. Because, yeah, you can't navigate this. Wow, cool. There's no boat that can go through this. It's, it's really cool. Very cool, actually. So we're approaching another viewpoint here. Wow. I think maybe here we can see it even better. Yeah, I think so. I love it. Uh, it's so wild. Slippery rocks, do not take the risk. Yeah. Quite cool. Very, very cool. There you can see, wow, the torrent there is just crazy. Yeah, I don't think I would dare rafting here. Yeah, no, I don't think that's the place where you go rafting. <laughs> wow, the intensity of the water is just crazy. Danger! I definitely gotta be a bit careful here. Do not want to fall. Uh, well, we found yet another viewpoint over the waterfalls and rapids. It's really cool. It's so, so, so cool. It's really cool. It's really nice change to have some nature again. Instead of just historical places like we visited a lot in Cambodia. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's burning. I am overheating rapidly right now. I don't know why I'm so affected by the heat today. Uh, but yeah, for some reason I really am. But the sign promised me a beach, 
And a beach is exactly what I would need. Wow. This is the viewpoint after viewpoint. Yeah. So cool. It really is cool. Yeah. Wow. Wow, indeed. Uh, this is a good one. Yeah. Crazy. Welcome to Laos, everyone. Yeah. Let's see if we find a beach over there. Let's see if we find a beach over there. Otherwise, we will have to survive all the way to the next one. Next bike stop. I guess so. Then we'll definitely buy a cold water bottle. That would be nice. Yeah. Always helps putting that one in your neck. That is true. It's also a lot of fun for me because he gets first really in pain. Oh, that looks like sand down there. Are we arriving to beach? Is that a no swimming sign? Oh no. They better... It is. Oh my god. Okay, so it's just a beach, but it's not a swimming beach. What's the point of a beach if you can't swim? Oh, no. That's ridiculous. Oh. See that prohibit swim. That's a scam. This is a scam. I want my money back. Prohibit swim. Wow. Well, you can pull off your feet though. People are afraid. Ah, okay. Let's go down and cool off my feet. I want my money back. No. Not get it back because you definitely did get a waterfall. Ah, that's true. It's true. I didn't know about the beach until I saw it on the sign here. Yeah. Still though, you can't ride a beach and then not give me a beach where I can swim. You did get a beach though. It's not a beach if you can't swim. Then it's just a bunch of sand. Hmm. That is my strong opinion about this. I mean, it should be my responsibility if I want to. Should be my responsibility if I want to risk my life in that well, torrent. I guess it's only recommendation. No, not when it says prohibit swim. They can get fined for it. If I want to risk my life, that should be my my decision. I see. I see. Your day is ruined. Yeah. No. My day is ruined now. Well, at least let's go wash off our feet a bit shit. Ow! The sand is really hot. Ow! 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 Oh, shit! I lost my flip-flop in the sand. It was really painful. The sand is like... super hot. Shit! Shit! Flip-flops are not good in the sand. Thought so too. Apparently not. That's painful. Oh. We're right here. We got the the beach. Okay. Let's cool off my feet a bit. Sure, that will be nice at least. <sighs> that is nice at least. Oh man, that's good. Woo. That feels very good actually. That's nice. There are fishes in the water. I wonder if the biting. I wonder if it's the biting fishes here. This does feel really nice. Oh. So maybe you should put your hat in. My head? Yeah. I have to take off all my bags here. Hmm. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, maybe the next one then. Huh? Yeah. Does this help you already? It does help me to cool off a bit. Okay, good. Still, I think it's fine to swim in this little area. It would yeah. be fine. As long as you don't get too far out there. Yeah. Well, I think it would be okay to take a bath here. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Well, up to you. 
Nah, too much work. Wow, but it's so pretty. It really is. So many waves. Yeah. Strange how river water works. Very nice. Okay. I'm pulling off. So this was checking out the waterfalls. Uh, or one of the waterfalls. I think there is another one somewhere. Uh, yeah. It's so gonna cool off a little bit now. And then it's time to make our way back to the bikes and continue to go to hopefully a real beach where I can swim. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you then. And so we're back on our bikes. And it's time to keep going forward. We had some cold drinks, cold water, and cold coke. That helped you, huh? That helped me a lot. I feel a lot better. Oop, almost running into something. Uh, yeah, now we just gotta keep exploring. Next stop will be a beach, I think. Hopefully this time with a swim. Hopefully option. a beach that I can swim. Uh, it's more like take a bath. Yeah. <laughs> That's more what you do here. Yeah. It's not swimming in the lake or anything, it's taking a bath. That is true. It's, it's a bit dangerous to swim. Uh, yeah, in the river. It's too hard. Hey, stop it. <laughs> I placed it so it wouldn't do this noise. Yeah, Guess it moved. Okay, well, we'll see you at the beach. Yes. Okay, so here we are. Let's, let's see what the beach will give. Like they're swimming or anything. Mm. So I would be very sad if I came all the way here. <laughs> Could once again not have a swim. We'll see. Oh. I promise you we can stop at the beach from yesterday though. Yeah, we have a nice beach on Dondet. Yeah. Uh, they offer really nice fruit shakes there and it's just a really relaxed bathing spot. Yeah. Yeah, guess we're gonna have to go there yeah. later. Guess, yeah, I don't know. This doesn't look like too much of a beach. Oh, people are coming from over there. Oh. Here are just boats. Okay. okay, let's keep walking through the blazing hot sand. I feel like a desert. Yeah, it's like being in Egypt again. Except that it's green everywhere. Yeah. Sure. Uh, it's really pretty. It is very pretty. No doubt about that. First person who looks like he went for a swim. Yeah. Uh, hey. So maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can cool off. Maybe we can cool off. Cool, cool, cool. One can hope, one can dream. Is it even further? Wow, the scenery, look at this. It's so crazy pretty around here. I hear small boats. Yeah, like a little port here. Hot in the sun though. It's just burning. Yeah. Oh, man. Seen it. Yeah. It's beautiful. It really is. There there, yeah. It doesn't look like they're swimming though. Know? Wanna have a look over there? Yeah. It doesn't look like there is any swimming areas. Actually, here. Oh, no. 
water looks quite strong. The water does look quite strong. I mean, there is a little protected bay there, but it's full of boats. Yeah. Well, I guess we could go next to them. Probably. But look at this. Oh, man. Oh yeah, there is someone swimming actually. I guess we can just jump in here. Yeah. There's sadly no shade here, we could put our stuff up there. That is true, yeah. here. You know the tree? Yeah. Wow, look. This looks amazing. It's so crazy, like we're on a small island and there's like stuff like this. Yeah. It's, it's like, crazy. I really don't need to see if stuff if it looks like this. No. Ah, it's amazing. Mm. Crazy. Okay, I think I'm gonna change. Change and yeah, let's go into the shade. Though. Cool off a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we're all changed. Now it's time to cool off a bit. Shit. <laughs> Lost my flip flop again. I love them, but they're really not good for terrain or sand. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I miss my old sandals again. Is there ever a time where you didn't twist them? Mm, yeah, you know, I think less and less about it, but. Mm. Okay, let's see. Doesn't look like the current is too strong right in this spot. But I would be careful with going too deep. Okay. You think there are still biting fishes? Probably. No. <laughs> You don't see the ground here. No. This is a bit scary. It is. Oh, okay, let's cool off a bit. Oh man, that's good. That's nice. <laughs> oh, that's well needed. It really is. That is very, very well needed. <laughs> it's a big stone suddenly. Oh, fuck. Yeah, well, absolutely no current right here, so. Yeah, cool off the head, a good idea. <laughs> oh, that's good. Man, that's good. That is really well needed after this. Yeah. Biking adventure. Yeah, ay, ay, ay. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's really not strong here. It's actually calmer than uh, at the place we were yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. And man, look at the scenery around us as we're swimming in the mighty Mekong River. Really cool. That is really cool. I wonder if the water was higher once. Look at the stones there. Probably. They have like those white stripes, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's higher in the rainy season. Oh yeah, true. It's dry season now, so... Ah, oh, man, that's good. What happens if you try to float here? <laughs> well, it's sweet water, so you will probably think. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold this. I just want to see if I'm being swept away or not. I would say I am. <laughs> Slowly but steady. It does make sense. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel it. But yeah, it's not strong here, so I can even swim against it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It really is. It really is. <sighs> Just what I needed. <laughs> Man, that was very, very well needed. I really gotta tell you that. Oh, 
Okay, so we are done with our little swimming here. We stayed here a lot longer than I expected actually. Absolutely. Um, it's such a nice place with such a nice view. I mean, look at this. It's just incredible actually how beautiful it is. We've been just sitting here chilling, talking, looking at the amazing views and... Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely one of those places where you know why you travel. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely. This is just... Also, it's just such a surprise. None of us even expected this view. No. Those views, like from... From yeah. this place, from Dundet and yeah. Don Kong. Yeah. It's Don Kong. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's incredibly beautiful here. It's... I don't know. I expected some kind of sandy islands in some type of Mekong Delta, a bit gray, a bit... Water a bit brownish. Yeah, water a bit brownish, but no, the water is blue, greenish. Yeah. Uh, and the views are amazing. It's green and it's... Mountains and... Oh. I don't know what else to say. It's... Water is refreshing. Yeah, uh -huh. water is refreshing, but also not cold. It's like that perfect sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. It's like... Yeah, and since like, I don't know, an hour or something, nobody else has been here. No. We're so alone. It's, yeah. It's so cool. Yeah, it really is. This has been a really nice day. It really has been, but it's not over yet. No. Because now we're heading to another beach. Uh, where we were yesterday, it doesn't have as nice views, but they do sell fruit shakes. <laughs> I could go for a watermelon fruit shake. Ah. I'm really starting to love watermelon fruit shakes. Watermelon fruit shakes are very, very delicious. And so refreshing. Yeah, very underrated. Yeah, watermelon juice is shit. Don't try it. But yeah. watermelon shakes, wow. Yeah, just pure. Yeah, watermelon freshness. Some people are swimming there. Yeah. Know that it's a lot nicer over there. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see which shake I'm gonna go for, but now we got to bike back to our own island, to back to Dundet. Yeah. This is quite a quite a ride. It's gonna take some time, but it shouldn't take too long either. And so we are, once again, crossing the bridge. Yeah, that view is, this view is amazing. I showed it last time as well, I think, but yeah, it's just so beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of the view we have from the beach now. Yeah. Just, oh, I love it. Yeah. It's like one of my favorite places been to, one of your favorite places you've ever been to that is a high re a high review i gotta say i would say so actually oh. it doesn't feel too over touristy it's quite calm it's yeah amazing landscape and it's nice to just go on a bike kind yeah, of. yeah. Food, food. i agree <laughs> so yeah okay now we're back on dundet island now we just gotta figure out where to go to get to our little beach. That's a very angry pig. You could hear there. And here we are. Yes. What do you want? Watermelon. Yeah. Uh, I'll also go for a watermelon today. Yeah? I think so. No, a pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
In the meantime, I'm gonna head down and get a nice spot for us to chill out. It's quite late now, so hopefully the sun is not too strong anymore. We'll see. Let's have one more swim in the McCollum for the day. It feels colder right now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Well, if you don't dare to anymore. It's a bit scary when it's cold, you know? <laughs> what if I will make weird noises? You always do. Mm -hmm. Here you can see that the current is stronger than at the other place. Almost like a waterfall, huh? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> ah, that's good. See, I told you. I always do. <laughs> <laughs> I should, I didn't take my hair off. <laughs> oh, well. Oh man, that's good. That's very good. <laughs> so nice. It really is. Oh yeah. The other place is better for views. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this is a nice little... Yeah. Secluded spot. I'm gonna try to swim a bit with the current. Just a little. See how it feels. <laughs> you just want to embarrass yourself again. Wow, that's fast. That's <laughs> <laughs> quite fun, actually. Go a bit and then... Yeah? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's even better if we go a bit further. Oh! Are you able to get out again? You go in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you do it several times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Cool. You want to try? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, maybe we can finally get rid of you. Nothing! Of course. Like from here or? I don't know. You try to get, go in the middle, he said, you know. You have to get in the middle. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> and this was the last thing they saw of me. Ah, probably. It's nice to know you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's fun! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still it's cool. Yeah, it still is. You think I can do it? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay there? Yes. I just didn't want to do it. <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> cool, I'm so gonna do that again. Uh, well, this is gonna stop filming for now, I think, because I only have 5% battery left, but I'm gonna save that for for fruit shake. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to the rapids as soon as I put away the camera. <laughs> See you guys later. So how is your uh, watermelon shake? Well, she said melon. I think she under she thinks melon is lemon though because this is a lemon shake. Mm, yeah, and here's my pineapple shake. Mm -mm. Uh, I ordered a watermelon shake for you. I know. I'm pretty sure it's on camera where I changed to a pineapple actually. But you know, <laughs> it's refreshing. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's really nice here. Really enjoy going into a uh, water. Me too. I'm gonna show you guys that one more time. We even went to go further now, but we're all, almost out of batteries. I gotta change that, so <laughs> I'll see you then. So there he goes. 
and someone showed us that you can even you know, climb a little bit behind those trees where you get even a bit further into the currents so that's pretty nice <laughs> there he goes I'm getting ready be careful it's gonna be fast wow. what a job <laughs> It really is. Some water in my nose now. Yeah, see? Happens easily. I just went way too hard. <laughs> that was a quite a job. Yeah. I wanted to get into the middle of the stream. Did it work? Yeah, quite good actually. Cool. You jumped far. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But I think we're done for now with this. Yeah. I'm definitely done now. Yeah. I'm ready to lay down. <laughs> yeah, let's lay down, dry off. Chill out. Eventually there will be sun sunset. Not sunrise. Sunset, yeah. And uh, yeah. Well, I feel like we should go back for sunset. We will go back to our place for sunset. For now, we just gonna enjoy our beach life. And so the beach time is over for now. Now, it was nice. It was very nice. I'm really relaxed. Everyone here is so relaxed. It's just a really nice vibe. Yeah, it really is. I'll see if we can drop off our bikes and have a shower before sunset now, or if we're a bit too late. We'll see. Now, we're gonna bike back home. Exactly how I want it. No roads, no cars. No. Just a few bikes, some water bikes. It's perfect. Is this how Bali was back in the days? Maybe. And there we go. And we're returned our our um, bikes. Let's see if we can catch the sunset now. Wow! Look at this. Uh, if this is not beautiful, I don't know what is. Wow. Oh, I hope this won't be... Yeah. This is so beautiful. Oh, can you see that? No, you can't see the, the... What is it called? The rainbow over there. There's a rainbow? Yeah, I can only see it because of polarized glasses, I think. Uh, I don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> this is just the most amazing view. Yes, where we started today, huh? Samak. But before the sun sets too low, we're gonna have a shower so we'll see the most beautiful part. Hopefully, yeah. And I think we're gonna end today's video like this actually with this amazing sunset view. The reason why uh, there was music over the yeah the sunset and all that was because the bar next to us, or the restaurant, which is the place we're renting from, uh, they have a lot of copyrighted music. That's why I'm constantly talking right now, trying to drench out the copyrighted music. The boat is helping you. The boat is helping me, probably. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, this view is just stunning it's absolutely incredible and i think this was a really good day on uh, don that really what do you think or absolutely. also don con where we yeah great day of exploring chilling at beaches and swimming in the mekong yeah yeah it's really paradise here it's crazy how beautiful it is yeah uh yeah soon we're gonna go to the indian restaurant over there uh but i'm gonna end it right now uh because uh yeah 
play a really loud Indian music and I'm not sure about the copyright with that. So, <laughs> But if you want to see our food, which will be amazing, just stick around because I will show a little clip of it at the end of this video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed because this is our first real video from Laos actually. Um, so, and if you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, uh, write a nice comment, maybe, I don't know, have you ever heard about this place? Because I sure hadn't just a few months ago actually, the 4000 islands and on that. It's, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, if you want to see more content like this, more uh, travel videos and uh, check out our adventures in Laos, then uh, hit that subscribe button. And um, yeah, hopefully I will see you in another video.